Hello, I'm Lucy, Outdoor Learning Officer based at Abbotsall Farm. And today is all about one of the largest UK insects, the stag beetle. We've been talking about how to ID them, their life cycle, and what you can do in your gardens to help them out. The name stag beetle comes from the fact that the male stag beetles have huge jaws that look like antlers of a stag. The females don't have these jaws and instead have smaller pinches. The other males have huge jaws that actually can be fragile and only used for courtship or wrestling other males if they must. The male stag beetle can range from three and a half centimetres to seven and a half centimetres, which is the size of that, which is huge for an insect. Whereas the female stag beetle can range between three to five centimetres, so it's still smaller, but still huge. The stag beetle has a shiny black head and thorax with a brown chestnut wing case. A beetle that looks similar to a stag beetle is a lesser stag beetle. The differences are the lesser stag beetle is much smaller and they are black all over and sort of look squarer. So the female stag beetle sometimes gets confused with the lesser stag beetle. So this time of year you might spot a male stag beetle sitting in your garden basking in the sun collecting energy to then go looking out for a female stag beetle at dusk. Whereas the female stag beetle don't tend to fly, though they can fly, they don't tend to fly as often and you'll spot them roaming around on the ground looking for a spot to lay eggs. Stag beetles can spend three to seven years underground depending on what the weather's like. A fully grown stag beetle larvae can be up to 11 centimetres long when stretched out. Which is huge to think that a stag beetle larvae could be 11 centimetres long and yet a male stag beetle can be up to seven and a half centimetres long. So the larvae is actually bigger than the stag beetle adult form. Stag beetle larvae are smooth skin with orange heads and legs and you can find them feeding on decaying wood up to a half a metre down. Once fully grown, they leave the rotting wood to build a cocoon in soil to pupate and finally into an adult. The adults spend the winter underground and emerge mid-May to August. So keep a lookout because you never know when you might spot one. This time of year is perfect for spotting stag beetles. Once mated, the females then head back to the same spot that they emerged to lay their eggs. Stag beetles are protected under the Wildlife and Countryside Act of 1981. They are under threat due to the significant loss of their habitat. Stag beetles need rotting wood to survive and due to woodlands being cleared and general tidiness in parks and gardens, the habitat has been reduced significantly. Stag beetles can be found in southern England but are extremely rare in other places. You are so lucky if you spot one. Stag beetles can be found in woodlands, hedgerow, parks and gardens. They just need rotting wood to survive. So what you can do to help a stag beetle? You can have a go at creating a stag beetle pyramid, which is what I will be doing today. For a stag beetle pyramid, you need logs that are the thickness of an arm. Um, you need to dig a hole about 50 centimetres deep in a shady area, and then you stand the logs upright so that they keep damp, which is perfect for stag beetles. If you don't have space for a stag beetle pyramid, you can leave tree stumps or log piles around your garden. So in the corner of my garden, really, really shady here, and this corner, I don't get any plants growing, so what I thought I'd do is put the stag beetle in this corner. I've got lots of logs and branches that I've saved from where a tree got chopped down. I've got my shovel and buckets to put the soil in the buckets so I can keep it. And this is the area where I'm going to create my stag beetle. So what I need to do first is dig a hole 50 centimetres down. So bear with me. So my hole is ready and deep enough, so now I'm going to add the logs and I'm going to start with the biggest ones in the middle and then keep adding my way around. So I have my logs in place, I've got my shovel and my fork holding them up currently at the moment. And what I'm going to do now is add soil all around them and make it really snug and tight. I just wanted to show you this soil because it is really fine and really loose and that is exactly what stag beetles like. 
if you think about the fact that the female buries down 50 centimeters it needs to be loose soil to be able to do that so that is perfect here is my stag beetle pyramid all finished and all done thank you for watching let us know if you do spot a stag beetle we would love to hear stay safe and stay wild